Hi, I want to start this video by saying thank you for watching, and I'm Mr. Seward. We are going to today be taking a look at how to control one motor using the VEX uh, programming language. So the first thing you need to do, and I'm going to go to my uh, VEX programming, is you're actually going to go and hit open file and select the PLTW template that you're going to find in the student share folder that has my name on it that is uh, inside of sim sim is inside of my name and um, you're going to find the plt template.c and you want to open that document and there's a reason for that and that is is that that document and i've got some code in mine actually uh, that i forgot to do a save as so I can just delete this. If you if you goof like I did clearly here, you can uh, get rid of this stuff. All right, so I did that. And uh, the reason we use that PLTW template that's in there is because it has uh, stuff in it that is uh, going to give us our motors and sensor set up nice and easy. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to do a file save as, and we're going to save this as controlling one motor. Uh, so I'm going to actually uh, put that in here, space, and then I'm going to put in 10 20 to just to differentiate this thing, and I'll say save. And now I'm working on two controlling one motor 10 dash 10 dash 20. Okay, now I got to start doing some stuff. Uh, and I got to first put in my task description. And the task description is going to come from here. This is the um, test bed document. And I highlighted where it says controlling one motor, turn the right motor on forward at half speed for five seconds, then stop the motor, then turn on the left motor forward at half speed for five seconds, and then stop the motor. So I'm going to right click and just copy that. And I'll go back into robot C and I'm going to right click and paste. Now we have to uh, convert that text up here into pseudocode and i don't really want to do too much of it for you uh, i will tell you right now that the, you're going to want to use the turn on right motor so i'm going to copy that i'm going to put it down here paste and actually i forgot uh, the word forward There we go. Turn on the right more motor going forwards. And uh, basically, I'm going to create the pseudocode that I have. Where is he? Right here. All right. So uh, I'll show you the first few lines of this. I'll get this out of my way. There we go. Pseudocode. So right motor on forward at half speed wait five seconds, stop right motor. So that's to do the stuff for the right motor. So I'm just going to, I'm going to copy this because I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little efficient here. Copy. And I'll go back here and I'm going to paste this in. Now you're going to need to write the pseudocode that takes care of this line that says turn the left motor on forward at half speed for five seconds then stops the motor so it's the same thing but just instead of right motor it's going to say left motor so you can just copy and paste this let's skip up skip past that now i'm going to actually do a little bit of the coding so i'm going to right click and copy my pseudocode and i'm going to paste it down here 
two slashes. And now I need to start actually adding code. So it says right motor on forward at half speed. So I'll go to natural language, movement, and this is going to be start motor. It's going to come right here. Okay. Wait five seconds. And then we're going to want to stop our motor. So in here is our stop motor. Now we got to start filling in this information here. So it says start motor and we want this to be the right motor. So I'm going to go to my motors and sensor setup and I'll go to the motors tab and right motor is port two, but it just, the name, the name of it is right uppercase M O T O R. So I'm going to type that right here where it says motor port. So I'm going to put in right uppercase M O T O R. And the speed is supposed to be at half speed. So half of 127 is approximately 63. Now the wait time is five seconds because it's going to run for five seconds. So wait time changes to a five. And then I'm going to stop the motor on right motor. And I'm going to purposely goof here. I want to show you something. R-I-G-H-T-M-O-T-O-R. And what I didn't do in this instance is I did not uppercase the letter M in motor here. This is a, a, what they call a camel text is the when it is capitalized. And I just didn't didn't capitalize it this time. So I want you to see what happens when I compile the program. Okay, so it comes up with a message and it says stop motor. And the message down here says that we have an undefined boat uh, variable, right motor. So we need to put in that uppercase M and let's hope that that fixes our problem. And we'll compile and there's still a problem here what did i do oh bruh. i totally misspelled this let's put this back to a small m and i'll show you see are you it has to be ri right motor okay now we'll compile it and this is the result i wanted i guess it's kind of good that you actually got to see the the screw up with the red text the red x but Right now, this is right motor, and I did not uppercase the M. And I get this uh, yellow uh, cross here. Now, this says that it is substituting similar variable right uppercase M motor for right motor, check spelling and letter case. So it's telling me that this motor, this M, is not an uppercase letter. This would run if we were to download it to the robot. But anyways, so I've just written these three lines of code and I compiled it. And if I had my robot hooked up, I'd hit download the robot and have it run just to uh, double check it. Now, your job is to put in the part of this for the left motor. The second part of this task, turn the left motor on forward at half speed for five seconds and then stop the motor. Once you have that done, and it's running correctly, show it to me, and I will check that off for you.